that was like one of the coolest tours we've ever done. The whole place is kind of like a museum of chartreuse. Um, it's very, very well curated. Our guide was incredible. We Alright friends, welcome back to the channel. We have a very exciting video for you guys today. We are currently in a very small town called Boiron, which is near the Chartreuse Mountains in France. And why did we come here? Learn about the history and tastings of Chartreuse. Yes. If you're not familiar with what Chartreuse is, it's kind of like an herbal liqueur that's been made by monks here in the Chartreuse Mountains for like hundreds and hundreds of years. Yeah, so we signed up for a tour at the caves or caves de la chartreuse. Yes. They can give us a little history <laughs> of heaven doesn't lose her head first. <laughs> and then uh, we do a little tasting afterwards too. Yes. Chartreuse is very near and dear to our hearts. If you guys didn't know, um, Lemon and I have been in the bar industry for the last 17 years before we started traveling. Um, and chartreuse is kind of like the bartender shot, I would say, back in the US. Yeah. Like if somebody came in and ordered at your bar, you knew they were automatically in the industry. It's kind of a bonding thing, so. Yeah, you... I guess right now it's kind of a low quantity in the U.S. So our friends have been telling us they're uh, jealous of us <laughs> over here. So we're going to go try all the delicious chartreuse. You ready? Let's go. A brief history of chartreuse. The manuscript was handed to the Chartreusian monks back in 1605, but it wasn't until 1840 that green and yellow chartreuse was created. The recipe consists of over 130 plants and is only known by two of the monks. Fun fact, the recipe isn't written down. It's actually been memorized by the two monks and as a precaution, they don't travel in the same vehicle in case there's an accident because then the recipe will be gone forever. So we just finished up the tour. We weren't allowed to take any video before or behind the closed doors. But it's really cool, you learn the whole history. There's like all the different advertisements, different um, stories behind everything, models of like all the different monasteries. They had to move several times. Even here, they don't actually distill it on premise because 2017, the city made a move. They didn't want the plant to blow up or something like that. Mm -hmm. So they do it at a different town now, but still have the barrels downstairs. So the tour cost us, I think, $12 each, and it finishes with um, a half shot of the yellow and a half shot of the green chartreuse. But that was like one of the coolest tours we've ever done. The whole place is kind of like a museum of chartreuse. Um, it's very, very well curated. Our guide was incredible. We definitely learned a lot. Stuff you probably wouldn't even find out like on Google. It was really interesting. I think my favorite part besides the tasting was seeing all the advertisements throughout the years and how like, the history of, of who they market chartreuse to has changed. That was really, really interesting. But now we're at the bar and we've gotten an aged yellow and an aged green chartreuse to try. They have a whole bunch of different cocktails and like different samplings you can do. And I think it was only like, the cocktails are like six to eight dollars, so pretty affordable. You wanna try? Yeah, let's try it now. Ooh almost tastes sweeter. This is the aged yellow. Mm, it's really smooth actually. Try it. So the yellow is only 43% alcohol, so 86 proof, or 86 degrees they say here. But they age it for an undefined amount of time. So for the undefined amount of time, the monks just come in and do a little taste test on it, smell it, and they know when it's ready, so it's not like six months or a year. It's could be up to 10 years, who knows? <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> so of the two, the yellow and the green chartreuse, I think that the green is our favorite. Um, this is the aged green chartreuse. Ooh. Oh, it's so tasty. It's like similar to the normal green chartreuse, but with less of a burn. If that makes sense, like more smooth. This is so good. You have to try, babe. Oh yeah, you don't even get like the burn on the tongue up front. Yeah, it's really smooth. Let's see how much a bottle is to go, but I'm guessing <laughs> it's probably out of our price range. Let's <laughs> we'll see though. So we got two more tasters to try. Um, the first one is a blend um, to celebrate 900 years of 
the Carthusian monks being order. monks, essentially. They call it the order, which I think just sounds really weird, but it's a blend. And then we also got another one that is also a blend. It's the MOF. And this is a blend of different yellows throughout the years. Ooh, I think I'm gonna try the ninth century one first. Ooh, that's good. Not my favorite, but it's pretty tasty. Yeah, so this is the MOF. Comes in a bottle design with the French flag on it. I think the ninth century one has like a bottle that's from the 19th century, that style. So they're all kind of unique. And I think you can only get them around here, maybe at the distillery. But uh, yeah, different aging to it, but really smooth. I enjoy it. Thank you. It's beautiful. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, so we each ordered a cocktail. Um, I got one with yellow chartreuse and Lemon got one with green. Uh, mine's called Passion Chartreuse. Um, so there's egg white on top, uh, fresh orange juice, passion fruit nectar, uh, yellow chartreuse, and then cinnamon on the top. It's so pretty. I don't really taste a lot of the chartreuse, to be honest, but it's very refreshing. Mm. Very tiki flavor. It's pretty good. The classic bijou. It's got gin, vermouth, green chartreuse, and orange bitters. It's uh, very well balanced for everything it's got going on. It's got a little sweetness. Almost like a little nuttiness, but that might be from the walnuts. <laughs> yeah, they brought us a plate of walnuts that we're munching on. <laughs> so in all of the, like out of all the green chartreuse cocktails that we've tried in our lifetime, which is so very many, these two are definitely the most like unique, I think, that we've ever tried. Um, and they were really affordable. I think they were only like eight euros each. We might have to have another one. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the next day, and we're currently headed back to the chartreuse cellars because there's way too much for a taxi out to the uh, Monastery Museum. It's like $30 each way, yeah. and the buses only ran. One was like 11 a.m., and the connection was like 3 p.m., so. Yeah, it just wasn't convenient, unfortunately. I think if you came here and you'd rented a car, um, it'd be so much easier to yeah. just drive right up. it's like up. a 30-minute drive. Yeah. So instead of visiting the Monastery, we're going to head back to the cellars. We're going to have some more green chartreuse and maybe pick up a couple goodies in the shop. Yeah. See you inside. They've got chartreuse liquor in them. <laughs> it's so cute. They're only like eight bucks. I think these are chocolates. Ooh, and there's gummies. Mmm. I think we're gonna get the mini sampler and the vegetable elixir and maybe a couple other small things for gifts. Uh, unfortunately, we can't fit much in our backpack, so gotta get the small things. Cheers. Thank you guys for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did making it because it was so much fun. <laughs> yeah, definitely need to stop by here if you're in southeast, uh, southeastern France. Can't talk a little too much <laughs> Um, Yeah, what a great tour. Like we said earlier in the video, it's probably one of the best tours we've been on like in a museum, hands down, like since we left. Yeah, a lot of information. Uh, the tour guide was awesome, like we said earlier, and then 
get to taste it at the end. So yes, and if you a bonus. if you don't drink alcohol, or if somebody in your group doesn't drink, they have non-alcoholic drinks as well and tea that they sell using the same herbs that they do in the liqueur. Or you can drink theirs. <laughs> yes, or you can drink theirs. All right. Well, that ends this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.